Hello and welcome to our English news edition coming to you from Canal Algeri. First to the headlines. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tibboune, reserves an official welcoming ceremony to the Italian Prime Minister, Mario Draghi, now on an official visit to Algeria. Two cooperation agreements related to the fields of energy and foreign affairs are signed under the aegis of the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tibboune. And later on, the Chief of Staff of the National People's Army, Lieutenant General Saeed Shingriha, pays a working and inspection visit to the command of the Territorial Air Defense Forces. Good evening. Those were today's top stories. First, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Boun, reserved an official welcoming to the Italian Prime Minister, Mario Draghi, at the Presidency of the Republic. Right after, the President of the Republic held a face-to-face -face meeting with the Italian Premier Mario Draghi. The talks revolved around the strong bilateral relations existing between the two countries, as well as the cooperation consolidation. The President of the Republic held face-to-face -face talks with the Italian Premier and the discussions revolved around the cooperation consolidation and the bilateral relations existing between the two countries. The discussions then were enlarged to include the delegations of both countries. The visit was crowned by the signing of two cooperation agreements concerning the fields of energy and foreign affairs. The signing ceremony was under the aegis of the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Boun, and the Italian Prime Minister, Mario Draghi. <laughs> After that, the Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi made the following statement. 
It's a great pleasure to be here in Algiers. I would like to thank President Tabun, Prime Minister Ben Abdurrahman, as well as the Algerian government for the warm welcome the Algerian Italian relations go back to a long time. Algiers is the first trade partner for Italy in Africa, and the trade exchange is constantly increasing. Last November was marked by the President's visit crowned with the Mate Garden. Mate was a great advocate for our collaboration, which we hope to further consolidate. The two governments have signed a memorandum of understanding related to the energy fill, in addition to the Sonatrack in agreement to increase importing gas to Italy. Italy is ready to work with Algeria to develop renewable energies. Italy is getting ready to no more rely on the Russian gas and today's agreements are intended to achieve this strategic objective. Algeria and Italy will upgrade their cooperation in other sectors. I'm delighted to announce the holding of the fourth intergovernmental meeting slated for the 15th and the 18th of next July. I will be delighted also to meet President Tibun once again while visiting Italy by the end of May. Still with the activities of the Italian premier, who then went to the, martyr, to the martyr's sanctuary here in Algiers, where he laid a wreath of flowers in front of the commemorative stella and observed a minute of silence in memory of the valiant martyrs of the National Liberation War. On the sidelines of these activities, the Foreign Affairs and National Community Abroad Minister, Amtala Mamra, held discussions with his Italian counterpart on the bilateral relations and cooperation prospects between the two countries. For his part, the Energy Minister, Mohamed Arqab, held talks with his Italian counterpart as well. The Italian Prime Minister left the capital Algiers. He was seen off at the Hueri Boumdin International Airport by the Prime Minister Ayman Ben Abdurrahman and other high ranking officials.
in another development, the Lieutenant General Saeed Shingriha, the Chief of Staff of the National People's Army, paid a working and inspection visit to the command of the Territorial Air Defense Forces. More details with Ines Kilu. As part of his visits to the various components of the National People's Army, the Chief of Staff of the National People's Army, Lieutenant General Saeed Chingriha, carried out an inspection and work visit to the Territory's Air Defense Forces Command. This visit, which took place during the holy month of Ramadan, reflects the permanent interest granted by the High Command of the People's National Army to the direct communication with the personnel and listen to their concerns, as well as urging them to take advantage of fasting to carry out beneficial actions for their army and their country and to take further steps towards success. After the welcoming ceremony and at the entrance of the command's headquarters, Lieutenant General, Chief of Staff of the National People's Army, Saeed Shingriha, observed in company of Major General Abdelaziz Houam, Commander of the Territorial Air Defense Forces, a moment of silence at the memory of a shaheed or martyr, Devin Bin Ali, known as Silotfi, whose name is borne by the headquarters of the Air Defense Forces of the region. The Lieutenant General then laid a wreath of flowers on the commemorative stila of the Shaheed and recited the Fatiha or the opening chapter of the Holy Quran on his soul and those of our valiant martyrs. Later on, the Lieutenant General held a meeting with the executives and personnel of the command of the Territorial Air Defense Forces, during which he delivered an orientation speech that was also followed by the personnel of the units via video conference. In this regard, he expressed his total confidence in the ability of our country, under the leadership of the President of the Republic, to successfully overcome the repercussions of the geopolitical changes that the world is witnessing today. On this occasion, the Lieutenant General Saeed Shingriha was keen to urge the youth to have faith in their country and its capabilities, especially in the light of these special circumstances, stressing his relentless endeavor to continue opening the honorable competition between the elite of the National People's Army, mean to allow them assume responsibilities in all fields of their professional career, including the leadership level. In other news, the Algerian Red Crescent launched a humanitarian aid operation on the occasion of the sacred month of Ramadan for the benefit of the Sahrawi people as well as the Sahrawi refugee camps located in the province of Tindouf. More details with Melissa Kabash. The humanitarian aid amounting to 132 tons have been sent to the Sahrawi territories as part of an initiative launched by the Red Crescent as a token of solidarity with the Sahrawi citizens during this past month of Ramadan. This operation denotes once again Algeria's determination and fully support the Sahrawi cause as well as people in need. On this occasion, we are very happy to accept this aid from the Algerian Red Crescent, amounting to 130 tons of different goods, 119 tons of semolina and other items. Other shipments on board of four military airplanes destinated for the Sahrawi refugee camps in the province of Tindouf have kicked off as well from the Bufarik military airbase. Back to the Algerian-Italian relations, which was marked this year by a salient cultural event, namely the 2022 International Book Fair, during which Italy was the guest of honor to the great delight of the Algerian elite. More insight with Melissa Kavash. The 25th edition of the International Book Fair was marked this year by the presence of Italy as a guest of honor, known for its historical and classic literature, as well as its brilliant writers, namely Dante, Primo Levi, Umberto Eco, and Francesco Petrarca.
Oggi possiamo dire eh, che numerous historical novels in Italy have witnessed a great success. Several writers work on historical storytelling, namely when it comes to the Arab Islamic world, including Algeria. The Italian pavilion hosted several titles from 16 publishing houses for the benefit of the fair's visitors, who for their part were numerous and enjoyed the atmosphere that prevailed during this event. And with that, our today's news edition comes to a close. Thank you for your attention.